Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I am going to be talking about my concealers today. I guess slash color correctors. I don't really have color correctors but they are all the same um, category but I don't have any um, color con correctors. Oh my gosh. Words. I don't own any color correctors. Just concealers. <laughs> So let's go ahead and talk about everything that I have here. Um, at the beginning of the year, I had 19 and I currently have 23. I did order a couple. You'll see a bunch in the packages. Um, I also either completed some or got rid of some. So that's why the numbers are only off by like four. Um, but I, I did replace a bunch. Like I replaced this one. We'll talk about that in a second. I replaced this one. So that's why the numbers are the way they are. But anyway, let's talk about what I have. These are currently in Project Pans. So the first one I have is the Kosas Concealer in Mini. And it is in the shade 03W. And I, this isn't currently in a project. And I'm loving this. Um, I definitely want to repurchase it. But I want to wait, of course, until... I've used some of these up and I use these on my under eyes and my brow bone area to carve out my eyebrows. Yes, I still do that. 2016 will never die for my eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah, the next one I have is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I should have bought NC, but I bought NW and I have been using it like crazy. As you can see, I've done a really good job of getting this down and I need to bring it down a little bit more. I would love to complete this and then repurchase it because it is quite old, but it is one of my favorites, a good oldie. Um, it's amazing. I also have the NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer and this is in the shade Vanilla. No, Fair, pardon me. Fair is in project. I did have vanilla in too, but I don't need when I have um, these ones as well, like the Kosas one is a little bit deeper, so I would just mix those two. And then I also have the uh, MAC Studio Fix 24-Hour Smooth Wear Concealer in the shade NC15. So it's really, really, really light, very brightening, very light. So I can mix these four together and they'll work for me for the winter time, all four of them together. Um, and again, we talked about this one. This is the MAC Studio Fix, or so, sorry, Studio Finish Concealer SPF 35 and is in the shade 20, or sorry, what is wrong with me? Where is 20 on here? There's no 20. NC15, oh my gosh. It is a pot concealer. I have already completed one of these. There's a lot of product in here. Seven grams is a lot of product. Um, it lasts a long time, but it's very, very good. I love this. I also have another oldie, which is the MAC Studio Waterweight Concealer. Can you guys tell I love my MAC concealers? They make amazing, amazing products, and I'm just obsessed. This one is probably my favorite. I'm not sure if they still carry this. If they do, I will gladly replace it because it's my favorite concealer from MAC. Um, let's just start over here and work our way. So we have the e.l.f. 24 hour, no, 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Warm. And this is, of course, a matte finish one. I also have another 16 hour camo concealer matte finish in the shade Medium Sand. So a couple of shades on that. And I do really adore this concealer. I also have a Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer in the shade, where are you? Where are you? Banana. I have a Physician's Formula Butter Butter Glow Concealer. It says new, but like by now I haven't even used it and it's not new anymore probably. Um, this is in the shade, I want to see if there's a shade, Fair to Light, Fair to Light. Um, also another NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer and this is in the shade Vanilla. This is perfect for like a brightening for my summer look, but I also like this like in between for like spring into summer. Really, really nice color for me then. Um, also have a Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which I love sculpting concealer. This is a natural beige. It's an unopened because it's brand new. You'll see this one is unopened. This one is unopened. This one is unopened. Um, this one also, I just replaced this as well. The NC25 in the Pro Longwear, which is the same as this one here. Pro Longwear Concealer. This is so, so good. 
Um, I also have, this is a new one. I just got this at the Sephora sale. It's the Huda Beauty Full Filter Luminous Matte. I don't understand luminous matte, but whatever. Um, it's in Coconut Flakes 2.7N. I also have the Dior Backstage uh, Flash. Oh my gosh, speaking of. Flash Perfector Concealer, and it is in the shade 2N. I also have from the Sephora sale the LYS... It's called a Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid Turmeric and Ashwagandha um, in the shade MN1. And we also have the Born This Way Ethereal Light. This is absolutely gorgeous. I wish I bought a lighter shade of this. I might have to go to the CCS and find a lighter shade because it's absolutely beautiful. I use this for summer because it's very light and glowy and I love it on the skin in the summer. The shade is Honey Bun. I have a unopened NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer in the shade, uh, sorry, it says up to 24 hour matte finish in the shade Vanilla. I have a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 11 Vanilla. I have a Sephora Concealer. It's called a Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Palmier. I have a NARS Radiant Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer, pardon me, in the shade Vanilla Light 2. I have an e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish in the shade Fair Warm. And I also, last but not least, have a 16-hour camo concealer in the shade White. And you can see I use this a lot. I'm already down to here. Like, you can see the windowing. So, yeah. Um, this is just a straight-up white. It's definitely nice to add to concealers or foundations, even if you need to lighten them up. But these are all of my concealers for 2023, going into 2024. Um, my goal, I would say, is to complete the Kosas one and the MAC one, for sure, to complete those. And I just want to use everything else to get some usage on all of it, just to see what I think of these. But I have been really, really enjoying wearing concealer lately. Normally, I just wear my foundation under my eyes. I don't bother with concealer. Um, and I just use it under my eyebrows. But I have been thoroughly enjoying wearing concealer lately especially with my new under eye powders that I have and I just feel like a lot of these are really good and also the ones unopened I cannot wait to try so I'll be busy for the next little while with what I own here um, if there's anything that you guys need a review on or want to see let me know in the comments if you have a favorite concealer that you love for um, drier under eyes I'm over 40 so definitely need to make sure that it is very hydrating <laughs> but let me know I don't need a lot of opacity I just um, need light coverage I love a hydrating concealer and um, something a little glowy I love too but I would be willing to try anything so let me know in the comments but yeah, we are at 23 concealers, um, but that's it. That's everything, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next inventory video. Bye!